Okay, I just had to say, why does my face look orange? <laughs> does it not look extremely orange? I'll sit back here. Okay, hi guys, welcome back. Welcome to my channel. So, sorry that the lighting's like, it doesn't look good, but like, it's okay. Welcome to this video. So, I just wanted to say something. This sucks, but it happened. Oh, did you see all that dust? So a bunch of the footage for this video, like literally half of it or more than half of it, literally just doesn't work. You can't play the video. I can't get it from my iCloud. All of it just can't be added into the video. So sorry, like some clips kind of just don't make sense in the context because you haven't gotten the clip before because it got deleted. Sorry about that. I'm gonna try and, I don't know what happened so I can't like prevent it, but I hope that my next video doesn't do that. But I just wanted to welcome you guys to the video, kind of explain what's going on. I'm going to be buddy reading the entire Infernal Devices and Chain of Gold with Annie and we're gonna both vlog it. So we're gonna do a vlog per book. And so this is for Clockwork Angel. I already read it, but you know, everything happens so. Here I am. So we're doing that in preparation for Chain of Iron when that comes out. I'm actually really excited, but I hope you guys enjoy it and go on to the video now. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm still on page 10 because I haven't read anything since last, like since I was on FaceTime with Annie. Okay, so today's Friday and I need to finish by next Friday so that we can keep on track. So I divided it by five so that I can finish a little bit early. So I would have to read like 95 pages today. So we'd try, round it up to 100. So I'm gonna try and read 100 pages of this today. We all know how long it took me to read City of Bones. So if this is quicker than that, that's all I can hope for, to be honest. And I need to read till there today, and I'm right here. The thing is, I'm like kind of dreading it just because I did not like City of Bones or City of Ashes or City of Glass. Obviously, I'm not extremely excited for this one. If what Annie says is true, then I should like it. I'm gonna get started on chapter one. I only read the prologue with Annie because that was a long prologue. Did it need to be 10 pages long? Hmm? It said wrote letters to her brother and I wrote and I read it wrote brothers to her letter. <laughs> I think I'm tired or something. Also, I wanted to explain this so um me and Annie were FaceTiming on normal FaceTime and on Discord because we're having some problems. I was screen recording it so that I could put in the video for, cause we're, I think she's vlogging as well. So we're gonna like do whole talking about the books. This whole thing is just in preparation for Chain of Iron, by the way, so that we can both be clueless going into that. Okay, I do have a question though. So when we and Annie were FaceTiming um, and when we read the prologue together, I thought it was really suspicious that those two ladies Miss Dark and Miss, oh, Miss Black and Miss Dark, um, when they came with a note from her brother, which Annie told me was like a legitimate letter from him or note, whatever, because I asked her if that wasn't from him because it seemed a little bit suspicious and she said it was actually from him, but then I was like, is she being kidnapped right now? Because it seemed like she was. She said yes. So like, why did her brother write her a note that he trusted them? for her to get kidnapped by them. I'm confused. That doesn't make sense, unless her brother's like not good. We'll see. Wait, she's literally actually, like that, she's actually dead. That was actually a dead woman. I'm brilliant. No, I actually was picturing a dead person because of the walking dead, but like, she's actually dead. <laughs> okay, apparently she is dead, is not dead. Now she's dead. <laughs> the range of um, emotions here. Um, okay, now it says she's not alive, but not dead either. Come on, what's going on? Wait, so it's like a robot? It's not even, it's not even a real person? <laughs> okay. Here's me thinking Tessa and Jessamine are gonna become friends when she's literally trashing everyone. She's kind of rude. I kind of was like, oh, she's gonna make a friend. Not her. Ooh. I'm reading the book right now and it's like six something AM and I'm on page 241 and I'm, I need to finish literally tomorrow. So 
Tessa is now looking like Camille and like there with the vampires and stuff. Also, we met Magnus Bane finally. So I'm still on the pages before like thing happens where they're gonna try and catch them doing something illegal. They have to observe a crime being committed so they have to watch the human get killed. So I think that it's gonna be Nate because I feel like it's gonna be Nate. I mean, that would be, I, that would be, what's the word? I can't remember, I'm too tired for this. Um, that would be, uh, what, the, what is the word? It's like perfect timing when she came, but like, I think that they're not, obviously, if it's Nate, then she's not gonna wait for the crime to be committed. She's just gonna take them so that they can't attack the vampires because legally they didn't, because they didn't see them do anything illegal. So basically the whole plan's gonna go bad. This usually happens, like, when the whole plan is already told to the reader, usually the plan fails because they wouldn't tell us what the plan was if it was gonna succeed. Like, you know? I don't know if that makes sense. Oh, I'm tired. <laughs> oh, also, I'm going to the bookstore today. So I'm gonna see if they have Clockwork Princess and Chain of Gold. Uh, those are my priority. I also wanna see if they have the Diviners, but- But it must be Nate. And the prisoner screamed. There's something familiar about the sound. No, it's him. It's gotta be him. It was Nathaniel. It is. <laughs> no, I feel like that was super obvious, but I'm still happy. I mean, not, not happy necessarily. <laughs> Come on, I just want the plot to, you know. Literally, what is the plot? Is there a plot? Is there a plot? That's my question. Like, in the Mortal Instruments, she was just trying to find her mom. But also, they needed the Mortal Cup for other reasons. So, Nate. Like, he literally just- he's just her brother. What's the other reason? Oh yeah, those little clockwork things. You have no idea <laughs> how to react. Okay, so are you in a vampire part where, like, Tessa is acting all bossy with Will? Yes. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm on page two. Let me check. I'm like 250 <laughs> or something, like that. and she's. Uh, which scene? Um, they were in the vampire thing still, but like she was trying to get Nate oh, back okay. from like them. So. Oh, actually... yeah. Okay, so she was with Magnus. Yes, but like she got away from him and then went to her brother, and I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that hurts. No, it wasn't because it was boring. It was because I'm so tired. <laughs> okay, so you're at this part, like chapter eleven, because our oh, papers yeah, yeah. are different. You mean they you are have the U.S. paperback and have the U.K. paperback. Okay, so um, it's like few are angels chapter. Yeah. Okay, but I'm so excited for you to get to holy water and blood. I'm so excited for you to read that because I'm so excited too. Um, so I'll tell you this: Nathaniel is working for the magister, and he's bad. <laughs> what? Okay, okay. The second thing is that Jem and Tessa go for a walk on Blackfriars Ridge, and then they get attacked by those creepy clockwork creatures. And one of the creatures takes Jem's blood. Now they can have entry to the institute whenever they want. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> okay. And third, when they go off on a wild goose chase because they think that Quincy is the magister, but he's not. So Will and Jem go to like the dark sister's house. Apparently, the sisters are still alive and they have a cat. So Jem takes have a it. cat. Yeah, they have a cat. You remember Church? Oh yeah, that guy. Or the so cat. That yeah. guy is going to get introduced at the end of this book. Oh, and Gabriel's dad turns into a worm in the third book. <laughs> I'm sorry, a worm? Like an actual, like, worm? Yeah, like a huge <laughs> worm. And demon pox exists. I knew that. I knew that was gonna happen. Because he, he, he said- And made a he whole says song it's about it. it. And this song is so good. But literally, this is just- I'm so happy like this. Wait, we should- Pose. Wait for the thumbnail. Oh wait, I, yeah, I want to take a screenshot. Okay, ready? Three, two. Okay, ready. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, are you ready? Wait, that was so awkward. Hold on, let me try that again. Wait, do we need to- do we want to put it on the same side? Like, what do we do? Oh, no, it's fine. Just put it up. That's my do I smile? You should be able to see it. <laughs> do I okay, smile? Ready? Ready? Three. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Okay. We can do this. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. We can do this. We are normal, same adults. We can do this. We're okay. good. Okay. <laughs> okay, ready? Oh, God. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, we need to do this now. We really need to do this. Okay, ready? Okay, I look strange. Wait. This lateral inversion thing in these cameras are like so weird. They literally. I know! Back so bad. I cannot understand which patient my friend just go. <laughs> okay, now it's done. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're three, two, one, and go. Okay, it looks fine. I mean, it's not good, but it's not bad. We just got attacked, and he was being choked, so he bit the vampire that was. Annie, I thought I would let you know I'm reading the jug scene right now. Or not. <laughs> the holy water scene now by the way also what is this it looks like rudolph also i'm going to the bookstore right now and i have 10 whole dollars <laughs> and i'm picking up the poppy war if they have it because we already bought that but like we had to get it sent there i don't know i want to buy clockwork princess or chain of gold i don't know which one they have mm -mm. Mm -mm. so honestly the most disgusting part of this book so far has been like she just fought vampires and has blood on her and stuff and then she went and laid in her bed well, if you're too exhausted sleep on the floor or something because that's disgusting anyways i'm enjoying the book so far i think we're leaving in like 30 minutes so but i had fun talking to annie today i think i already added the footage in i don't know if i'm gonna add it the beginning middle end whatever so right now will is in the process of turning into a vampire but he's like not going to we all know he's gonna drink a bunch of holy water and then he's not gonna be turning into a vampire anymore i don't know if that's how it works but i think that's what they were saying and now he's kind of like rude to tessa again he was like you need to get out you need to go like leave please leave and i'm like oh excuse me it hurts <laughs> oh my god take the picture how, how weird she looks i mean look in here <laughs> I don't understand what's funny! What did you think she said? So I said I would update you guys when I got back with the books. It's like many hours later. We watched like six episodes of The Walking Dead. I told you guys that I was gonna get two books and I did get two books. I stayed true to that. Unlike you, Sherilyn. Mm -mm. I only got one of the two that I was planning on getting. Okay, the one I didn't get is Chain of Gold and I still have the money left so I was gonna buy that tomorrow. So first I got Clockwork Princess because this is the only one that I don't own. There's stuff under both of these book jackets that I didn't even know existed. So I'll show you that once I show you the other one. So the other book, very thick, my friend, very thick, is Queen of Air and Darkness, very thick. <laughs> There's something really cool under this one. So I'll show you this one first because it's cool, but like not as cool, you know? It has the family tree which is really helpful because it's really confusing. This is a whole spoiler for literally every relationship. So, the cover's really pretty, but like, look at that whole poster underneath. I don't know who any of these people are. I mean, I'm assuming that's probably Cordelia Carstairs. Or no, she's not in this book. Who am I talking about? Is this Emma? A new song by Chase Atlantic came out. I don't know when it came out, but like, I'm gonna pass away. I didn't know it was coming out because the, the next album comes out in March, but they but they released a single. I'm, I'm so scared. I know no one, literally no one cares, but I do. I do, so that's all that matters. I went on Instagram and I was just like scrolling and it, and it said slide out now and I, I didn't understand that. I don't know why. I didn't realize that was an actual song. Right now I'm currently excited. I will update you and tell you if it's good after. I'm, <laughs> I'm scared. People have already made Slowed and Reverb 
versions? Wow, they're really on top of things. Oh my God. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna go. I'll talk to you guys later, but that just that was so good. I just got off of FaceTime with Annie and before that I was reading Clockwork Angel and I was like crying because of the scene with Jem telling Tessa like why he was ill. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> Again, I still don't know if I like Jem or Wilmore. Like I need to update you, like I need to figure it out. Like I'm kind of confused why I'm enjoying it because there's no plot. Like, the plot, mm, it weirdly feels like it doesn't exist. But I think the only reason that I like and, like, I'm really enjoying it is because of the characters. Like, that's it. And they're carrying the story. Oh my god, this is a really big info dump. I don't care. Nate is annoying me. Right when he, like, actually talks a lot in this book, like, it's a huge info dump. I don't care. I, I don't like this guy, Nate. He's, like, people, like, almost died or did die saving you have you ever seen spy kids game over when like they were fighting in that arena with those big robot things yeah i keep imagining the automatons looking like that and it's like it's kind of funny um just wanted to update you guys because i finished clockwork angel like right this second i would do a full on like talk about it but it's 1 a.m. and I don't know what I'm saying. My star rating is four stars and my favorite character is Tessa and I still can't decide if I like Jem or Wilmore. I also tabbed it. <gasps> That's embarrassing.